There's one more thing I'd like to associate with this topic of heteroscedasticity, which is the zero conditional mean of error term. So recall that we've been, we, we, we talked about having a constant variance, right? Which we do not have in this case. We have a variance that depends on the independent variable, but one assumption of a, a regression model is to have zero conditional mean of the error term, which mathematically means that the expected value of the error term, of the unexplained term, given an independent variable is equal to zero. And I want to prove now that this actually still holds true in this case, even though we have heteroscedasticity. Why is that the case? Because notice here, what's happening is that the distribution of the error term, <clears throat> the distribution of the error term along the regression line, so over here, these dots, these lines that I'm drawing right now, this distribution is still happening randomly. It is uniform around the blue line. The only difference is that the higher the income, the lines are becoming bigger, but they are still uniformly distributed. We do not have a pattern. We do not have a cluster of error terms on one side, meaning above the regression line or below the regression line. If we had just one cluster over here, that would mean we would have a biased result. That would mean that the error terms tend to be bigger than usual or lower than usual. But what happens in this case, even though we have a non-constant variance, the error term itself on average is going to be zero. So most observations, if we take thousands and thousands of observations, most observations are going to be on the regression line, but they will have variation from it to the left over here and to the right. And it, the only difference is that for this range, whenever the income is becoming bigger, that variation, that variation from the regression line is becoming larger, but it's still random. It's still uniformly distributed to the left and to the right. Recall once or only if we have one cluster in one direction, only then we could say that we have a bias and that bias, if you recall from the OVB videos, from the omitted variable bias videos that uh, I have on the on this playlist, that's when we proved that the expected value of the error terms given an independent variable is not equal to zero. But in this case, it is still equal to zero because we do not have the omitted variable bias and that is the reasoning. All that happens is that the variation across the uh, around the regression line increases, but it's still, it's still having a zero conditional mean of the error term. Hope this makes sense and we're done.